barrel hit in the middle of the night and left nearly everyone on Union Island homeless. This is what's left of the tiny island, just nine square kilometers large, part of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Residents did what they could to survive, as homes were torn apart and windows broke around them. They said the pressure was so intense they could feel it in their ears. Hardly anything's been left standing. 90% of the houses have been severely damaged or destroyed. There's devastation in Grenada, too. Barrel made landfall Monday as a Category 4 hurricane. Thousands of people are without power and communication systems are down. It is almost Armageddon like, almost total damage or destruction of all buildings. Complete devastation and destruction of agriculture. Complete and total destruction of the natural environment. And Barrel's not done yet. The hurricane's charging towards Jamaica. Emergency preparations are underway. If you live in a low-lying area, an, an area historically prone to flooding and landslide, or if you live on the banks of a river or a gully, I implore you to evacuate to a shelter or to safer ground. At one point, Beryl reached Category 5 status, with winds of at least 250 kilometers per hour. It's the first time a storm this powerful has hit so early in the season. Meteorologists say it's due to record-breaking heat in the North Atlantic, and scientists say that's all due to global warming. They're warning the season is on track to be much worse than usual. Alexandra Byers, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.